This presentation is to show you all the basic features of the live preview. Let's start at the bottom here. If you look here at the bottom, you'll notice that there's different display modes. We have between channel 1, 4 channels, 9 channels, 16 channels, 25 channels, 36 channels, and if you click here, between 8 to 100 channels. This icon here with the eye is to close all the previews. And this icon here with the four arrows on each corner is to do a full screen. So if you click on it, it puts whatever display mode that you put, in this case, 16 channels into full, dis full screen mode. To exit out of it, right click on your mouse and click exit full screen. And you're back to the regular view mode. Now, if you hover your mouse over each individual camera view, you'll notice that there's some icons that pop up at the very bottom of the screen. Let's go over what each of these icons mean. The first one here is the eye. That's to close the image. So in other words, if you don't want to view the live image, then you go ahead and click on that button on whatever camera you do not want to be displayed and that camera goes away. The second option here is the snap feature. It is essentially taking that snapshot picture of whatever scene that you're seeing live view and saving it to the local device, in this case the computer or the NVMS software is installed. The third button here is the record. That's the start recording. Don't get that confused with the recording of the DVR. The DVR is already recording based on the settings that you already programmed when you first installed it. This record button here is essentially to use live recording to store it on the local computer where the NVMS is installed on. So example, if you're looking at something live preview of interest and you just want to record that portion of what you're seeing live, go ahead and click on the record button and then click record again to stop when the feature is finished. The fourth icon here is for PTZ control. If you have a PTZ camera connected to the DVR, you can control it through this PTZ control feature here. This fifth icon is for two-way bi-directional talk. So if your DVR has the microphone and a built-in sp or a speaker attached to it and you have a built-in speaker on your laptop computer or a external microphone, you can communicate with the person directly at the DVR location. This feature is for camera configuration. So if you click on it, you'll notice that you can modify different settings. Here you have image settings, record settings, video loss alarm settings, PTZ settings, motion detection alarm settings. This feature here is for the audio. So if you have a microphone attached at the camera site or the DVR site, you can listen in on what's going on. This feature here is for zooming in. And this feature here is to fit that camera view to the full maximized window.